Well, ladies and gentlemen, on this channel, I do like to read you guys a random Bible chapter. A random Bible chapter. Because, uh, you know, one verse is, uh, look, I was typing in one verse. See, it, it's, it's sneaky. One verse is sneaky. <clears throat> you don't get the full context. All right. Here we go. Three, two, one. First Chronicles 12. Here we go. One Chronicles 12. Now these are the ones who came to David at Ziklag, while he was still restricted because of Saul, the king of Kish. And they were among the mighty men who helped him in war. They were equipped with bows, using both the right hand and the left to sling stones and to shoot arrows from the bow. They were Saul's kinsmen from Benjamin. The chief was Ahizar, Ahizar, then Joash, the sons of Shema, the Gibeathite, and Jezeel, and Pelet, the sons of Asmaveth, and Baraka, and Jehu, the Anathothite, and Ishmaiah. I think I said that right. Ish Ishmaiah, the, the Gibeonite, a mighty man among the 30 and over the 30. Then Jeremiah, Jehaziel, Johanan, Josabad, the Gedarathite. Man, these are. Okay, here we go. Eluzai, Jeremoth, Beliah, but, 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 be, 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 Shemaria, Shepathiah, the Herophite, Elkanah, El Elkanah, Ish Ishaya, Azarel, Joazer, jo Joshabim, the Karaites, Jo Joelal, jo Joela, Jebediah, the son. The sons of Jeroham of Gedor. From the uh, I need like a I need like a, a button over here when this happens so I could just like you know get the computer to read it for me. Okay, from the Gadites there came over to David in the stronghold in the wilderness mighty men of valor, men trained for war, who could handle shield and spear, and whose faces were like the faces of lions, and they were as swift as the gazelles on the mountains. Ezer was the first, Obadiah the second, Eliab the third, Mishmanah the fourth, Jeremiah the fifth, Atai the sixth, Elil the seventh, Johanan the eighth, Elzabad the ninth, Jeremiah the tenth, Machbenai the eleventh. These, the sons of Gad, were captains of the army. He who was least was equal to a hundred and the greatest to a thousand. These are the ones who crossed the Jordan in the first month when it was overflowing all its banks, and they put to flight all those in the valleys, both to the east and to the west. Then some of the sons of Benjamin and Judah came to the stronghold of David. David went out to meet them and said to them, If you come peacefully to meet to me to help me, my heart shall be united with you. But if to betray me to my adversaries, since there is no wrong in my hands, may the God of our fathers look on it and decide. Then the spirit came upon Amasai, who was the chief of the thirty, and he said, We are yours, O David, and with you, O son of Jesse, peace, peace to you and peace to him who helps you. Indeed, your God helps you. Then David received them and made them captains of the band. From Manasseh, from Manasseh also, also some, of the, some defected to David when he was about to go to battle with the Philistines against Saul. But they did not help them for the lords of the Philistines after, for the lords of the Philistines after consultation sent them away saying, at the cost of our heads he may defect to his master Saul. As he went to Ziklag, there defected to him from Manasseh, Adna, Josabad, Jediel, Michael. Maybe this is 
Jedia, Jed, Jedil, Michael, Josabad, Eli, Elihu, Zild, Zilithai, captains of thousands who belong to Manasseh. They helped David against the band of raiders, for they were all mighty men of valor and were captains in the army. For day by day men came to David to help him until there was a great army like the army of God. Now these are the numbers of the divisions equipped for war who came to David at Hebron to turn the kingdom of Saul to him according to the word of Yahuwah. The sons of Judah who bore shield and spear were 6,800 6, equipped for war. Of the sons of Simeon, mighty men of valor of war, 7,100. Of the sons of Levi, 4,600. Now Jeho Jehoiada was the leader of the, houses, of the house of Aaron with him were 3,700. Also Zadok, a young man, mighty of valor in his father's house, 22 captains the, of the sons of Benjamin, Saul's kinsmen, 3,000. 3,300. For you guys keeping track. For until now, the greatest part of them had kept their allegiance to the house of Saul. For the sons of Ephraim, 20,800. Mighty men of valor, famous men in their father's households. Of the half tribe of, of Manasseh, 18,000 who were de designated by name to come and make David king. Of the sons of Issachar, men who understood the times with knowledge of what Israel should do, their chiefs were 200, and all their kinsmen were at their command. Of Zebulon, there were 50,000 who went out in the army, who could draw up in battle formation with all kinds of weapons of war and help David with an undivided heart. Of Nephtali, there were a thousand captains, and with them 37,000 with shield and spear. Of the Danites, who could draw up in battle formation, there were 28,600. Of Asher, there were 40,000 who went out in the army to draw up in battle formation. From the other side of the Jordan, of the Reubenites and the, the Gadites, and of the half tribe of Manasseh, there were 120,000 with all kinds of weapons of war for the battle. All these being men of war who could draw up in battle formation came to Hebron with a perfect heart to make David king over all Israel. And, of, and all the rest also of Israel were of one mind to make David king. They were there with David three days, eating and drinking, for their kinsmen had prepared for them. Moreover, those who were near to them, even as far as Issachar and Zebulon and Naphtali, brought food on donkeys, camels, mules, and on oxen, great quantities of flour cakes, fig cakes, and bunches of raisins, wine, oil, oxen, and sheep. There was joy indeed in Israel. Amen. That was, uh, that was, that was a big one. All the names and all the numbers. Did you did you follow along? Did you take notes? I hope you took notes. Don't worry, I don't I don't usually take notes. I don't usually take notes. There was joy indeed. It is a little bit of logistics of the army, isn't it? That's interesting. It's it's pretty cool to look back and like see see people break these things down and do deep dives into these things, you know. I really I really uh I really uh appreciate when people get uh get moved to just be like, hey, I'm I'm the I'm the first Chronicles twelve guy. I know exactly what this this is. I know all these people because <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I don't. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. First Chronicles 12. The random chapter of the day. Oh, I know. Armies back then were huge. And you had to have an army because, I mean, like, like, they got an army. You know what I'm saying? I think, I think that's just purely it.
I don't know who was first to be like, hey, I'm going to be the first one to have an army. I would assume it was one of the one of Kane cities from back in the day. I want to, I want to, I wanna, let's, we got to protect this city. Start to the little police force. City gets bigger. You know, you know, the New York police force is like a little army. New York City. Anyway. Ladies and gentlemen.